Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. I really don't understand that. It's... I don't know. Like, they just got taken out by the... The chariot. I was occupying the necromancer, so... How did they get back up so fast? And put me in a situation where if I'd have blocked, <clears throat> they'd have bled me. So it really, it literally was lose lose. Because I tried to attack my way out, I couldn't have healed, and it just ended horrifically as you saw. This is super bad news. This game's got a serious problem with not letting you run when you're holding it. Oh, everybody's close. This is going to be a gangbang. I'm going to die. That life gem just saved my ass then. Dude, they're all, they're all back up. I just died the exact same way as before. I don't get this. I know there's two necromancers in this room, but that's just weird. Maybe they've changed how long the skeletons stay down for because I should have been free and clear to kill that necromancer then. Yeah, I had every single skeleton alive attacking me. And running back is not easy. Oh, that's useful. I'm going to literally have the entire level chasing me. Because there's not a shortcut. And the only shortcut here is kill these things enough times for them to literally stop spawning. That's the shortcut. My stamina. I'm holding B. I am literally fucking holding B. And then when I pressed it again to make him run, he jumped off the edge. Well, if I had a divine weapon, maybe this would be a little different. Maybe if I had a weapon that, you know, weren't the one I started with at the beginning of the game. Really, really frustrated. And it's by stupid stuff. Like that. When attacks that should land miss. For no rational reason. Except there's something obviously mechanically wrong with this game at times. Again, did you see that? Neither of us connected. Did he have iframes or is my sword made of paper? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Let's use the spear for a little while. I'm super confused by these skeletons. I don't know why I'm getting mauled by them. Fuck me, his poise is better than mine, and now I know that I'll hope. Oh! I had everybody chasing me, somehow. And the skinny ones are fast at following, so you need to watch them. Whoa, 
Oh, fat guy's pretty fast too. Maybe this is a better bonfire to run from. Maybe not. Guess we'll never know, because I'm about to get murked. I just toggled as well to try and get out of that stun. Like it's going to make a damn bit of difference. <laughs> oh yes. The hollows that don't move, they lay down and stay there perfectly until you get two yards from them and then they stand up as magically stood up and fucked me. <laughs> Still haven't found the twin blade. It sounds cool. I've got enough to use it as well because you need 25 decks. I'm really not enjoying this. Wow. It counted the bonfire yet I couldn't use it. That's weird. Is this a better bonfire though? I suppose it's better in the, the grounds that I'm not going to get followed by a million fucking thugs. Or rogues or whatever they're called. But instead, I'm probably going to aggro that guy every time and this butterfly. But look, before I've even crossed the bridge, the guy up there is aggroed. Because that's how high his aggro range is. It's literally up. Dark School. Dark School. Dark Souls 1 kind of bullshit with aggro. Wow. He gave you every move, didn't he? Did, didn't it? <laughs> I'm going to take it slow up here. I'm not going to run past them all because there's no point. And then when we get into the boss room, I'm going to take the boss room slow. I'm not going to use my beta strategy because it's just not working. I have to learn and adapt as opposed to being stubborn. Well, I wish you'd have jumped a couple seconds earlier. You might have saved me a fucking arrow. I'm trying to lock onto him and it's just not having it. That's his mistake then. Because he was so anxious to attack me when I was getting near his back. He did the same combo when he was nowhere near facing my direction. Oh, it's a whip guy. Just got him. Well, I say him. There's two. But we've had a lot of really pretty terrible deaths on this this particular episode. Dark Souls death though. Any other game completely avoidable. Dark Souls, not so much. You just do not want to have that at all. Again, I missed a backstab. the whip guy has it seems maybe less defense than this dude because I did 500 damage on a, on a backstab on him but a backstab on him only did 300 you get quite a lot of range with the whip as well which is awesome because that's exactly what a whip should be oh weird he did again like two fake whips Wow, and a jump attack and I missed the backstab. Do we three hit combo? There we go. Oh no, it did three, four, eight that time. Maybe I was stacking damage over attacking him into backstab. That would explain it.
it's like they've used the same sound effects for drawing a bowstring as they have on the, the ropes of the bridge, straining. So, this is what we do. We don't do what we've been doing. We go into the first alcove, we wait for all the skeletons to get downed, then we go into the next alcove and we kill the guy who generates them. Oh, I see what it is. They're not getting put down to be needed to be revived because it's not doing enough damage to them. Uh-oh. So, the spear is not really working for me. Neither is equipping weapons, because I'm doing it like Dark Souls, and on this game it just doesn't work. But there's another one of these. Beast. Fuck me, they're really fast. Oh my god, there's tons of them. And I'm not running, and I'm holding B. That were okay. There you are, bro. And I got no stamina now. And there's tons of dudes around me. Yeah, this is much harder. They've they've definitely made this much harder. Uh, where's the switch? Switch is there. And it's it's this stamina thing. I, I need to know what it is. I'm gonna do some researching tonight to see if anyone else is having it because it can't be my game. It can't just be my game. I am holding B on both consoles and both fucking systems and gain nothing. Right, we're going to play this uh, coily. It's, oh, because I don't want to die. Interesting. Stomp. Two hits, then move seems to be the thing. Breath. Breath attack. Charge. Stomp. Breath attack. Breath attack. As I like to call it, killing you time. So the skeletons are horrible now. They've got tons of life. They get revived really fast, and the 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 chariot doesn't one shot them and knock them out. It doesn't do enough damage, which makes that fight really hairy until the fight, which is I don't know. I think they had the perfect balance for it on the beta. The skeletons and the puzzle wasn't the fight. The fight was, and don't get me wrong, you can do what I just did to the boss, but now they've made the beginning the the ch the tough section, so. It'll forever be remembered as the skeletons before Nito rather than Nito, which is what happened there. Because nobody had trouble with Nito. You had trouble with the arseholes with him. And this is no different. And I think that's kind of sad. Because on the beta, they weren't an issue. Not an issue at all. And maybe I've come here early and I'm not strong enough. Or I don't know. Maybe I'm too strong. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Right. Illusory wall time. And it's time to see what they've put in the Llewellyn armor's place, because if it's that armor... Ooh, this looks glitzy. Why is this so sparkly? Someone's here. Is that the same guy? He looks kind of different. 
It's the same guy, he's just not holding the scythe. Like an idiot. This looks different too, there weren't candles. It weren't all crazy pyrotechnical. Ooh. I think that was different. Alright, so... How do people do this? Like this. Are you serious? They put nothing... Oh, no. It's... Oh, fuck off. Cracked red eye orb. A load of shit. I mean, it's awesome for when I start PvPing, because they're everywhere. But by then, they'll probably be betraying us out anyway, or people hacking the game, because the game's already hacked. Which sucks, but it definitely makes a lot less farming. So, can I not talk to you until I'm what all bloodied it? up? Oh. He's got a different voice. You trot long ago. This place that is a different guy. Not for you. It's horrible. Why did they change? This guy had the best voice. It was Barry Deep Deep. Barry Deep? Barry White Deep. Sorry. Yeah, Barry Deep Deep is actually a, a ska band that what features Barry White's ghost. Oh, you trot long home. This place no. won't be any fun. Not for you. They've given him this shit voice actor when he had an amazing voice in the beta. Why? Why would you do that? Shit voice actor, man. But we're going to run back down the tracks and see what's there. I'm not going to rest at the bonfire just yet because I don't really want to bring anything back. That's a death. Do not fall down there. I'm curious if you can come here when you've got a weapon that kills the undead. Because if you can get a divine weapon, this will probably be a much more fun fight. They seem to have changed it a little bit. Because in the beta, when you entered, and I think I entered around here somewhere... Did I enter from here? No. That's where I entered, just there. Oh no, they've not changed it. Yeah. If you went right, you uh, didn't live long. Which is a bit unfortunate for the fellas that did. There's also an item over here I've not grabbed. Because in my mind it was a human effigy and I don't want those. Instead it's a sublime bone dust and another fire seed. Which... Sounds like it's probably really good, but I I don't know if it is. But there's nowhere to go there except for that Covenant, man. Which means we've got to go the other way. Because I'm lazy, I'm going to use a Homeward Bone. But yeah, that's probably the most frustrated I've been in this entire playthrough just then. Wasn't really having much fun when I was getting bummed. But it was my fault. I tried to rush a boss... Because I thought I knew it, and I didn't. Because this is not the beta. And it's Dark Souls 101. If you rush it, you make mistakes. And mistakes cost lives. Oh, wow. It does count this fucking bonfire beast. Let's go back to my Jula Jola G. G. Jula John. Jim. Jew. I like that. That lighting effect you're seeing now is the same lighting effects they've taken out of the Mirror Knight fight. <laughs> Which is ironic, because they've come and put it somewhere weird here. That you're never going to come unless you're a Dark Wraith. Because I believe that's what that guy does. He, you, you give him blood and tokens of spite, and he gets all excited. With his new shitty... Ooh, did you see that, guys? Great Scythe. The epic name bro special is in the game. You've been long Most away. overpowered weapon. What would you like? Well, Stones. I've only one thing to provide, and we both know what that is. <laughs> she's kind of sexy, this one. She's she's sassy. She's got some some sexual tension between her and this green-eyed corpse. But she sells nothing except that, which is kind of awesome. But it's really expensive, and I already have one. You know how they call this place Drang Lake, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, in the old mm -hmm. lore, in stories and the like, they said it had another name. 
Was that name Laudram? Well, I don't know. It's just something I heard. Since long, long ago, many kingdoms have risen and fallen on this very spot. Each like a great flame that turns to soot. Or a lighthouse Maybe in an ocean of lighthouses. I don't remember much about the past. You see that blacksmith over there? That's me dad. Is he one of those hollows? He seems to keep eyeing me up. Shit, she doesn't even know. He sort of looks like my father. He's a blacksmith too, you see. The poor man's such a worry wart. But he wouldn't follow me out here, would he? <laughs> yeah, it looks like he did and he got a lot less lucky than you. He's green. He's like me. I was born in a land that yeah, you've great bustling. Oi, you, your child doesn't know you, sir. I'd given you up for dead. Almost had me worried, really. Why the hell does he have the gloves on? He never, ever is in anywhere near something hot. I don't think you're a blacksmith at all, Leningrass. I think you're a damn liar. Might as well put some points into this beast because I really like this spear. And if we can get some power from it, it could turn into a cheese fest. And uh, I'm not going to go much higher because I want to save my large shards for, for my sword. Or maybe that because that weapon's stronger, but I don't want to go stronger. I want to go more fun. Ooh. Let's do it. Let's put the whip up. And then... Can we do our armor? Armor takes large. Dread. <laughs> Don't stop worse than my reckless daughter. Have I told you that before? Am I going to see now? <laughs> Just repeat the cells. I'll tell you who I've talked to, but I've not gone and seen again. The cartographer. If you go back to the cartographer, he comes to this house and he notices that a fire's been set alight. So, let's have a look to see if there's any more. That's a huge book. It's like a librarian overcompensating for a tiny penis. And I think this is probably going to be the last video on this session. So no, I've only got one fire. Yeah, I've killed bosses in dozens of places. Hmm. I wonder what it means. Well, I guess I'll find out someday. Such is the joy of Dark Souls. That which is obfuscated becomes clear I can't believe that fall killed me when I bought that really expensive ring I've got an ore stone haven't I I should um, offer it see what it does got to buy a ticket ba 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 But I'm not getting any rewards. Like, I don't get it. It's essentially a PvE covenant with PvP incentives and offerings. It doesn't give you anything for beating the game that makes itself harder when you join it. Instead, you get points for killing humans, which is hard anyway. Bearer of the curse. Mm -hmm. Seek so. Seek the lest this land. Where is the king? Over the hill and past the forest is the king's castle. We think that's it, that Where big a man tower. Peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it, those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all. Sooner or later. That suppose it does. At the base of the tap, although he does uh, offer some. Perhaps she says this all the time. Goddamn dementia, this lady. I've got two. Shit. I think I would prefer them to be chugs rather than reinforced chugs. But every penny helps.
five sips plus three Estus Flask. We just need to get better weapons now because it's, it's annoying me. 